L is for the way you look at me. O is for the only one I see. V is very, Oh, come on. Yeah, now I'm glad I haven't got fond of anything. Well, I can't, you know, I've already got three dogs, I can't have another one. Anyway, he doesn't like me. Do ya? <laughs> Bullseye! In case you haven't worked it out yet, I've got a thing about dogs. Louis, come on. Sit. I treat me pigs like dogs. Circus pig, there's a good boy. <laughs> now me sheep. Come well, on, come get the stick. Winston, look. Go and get it. <laughs> and when I'm not doing that, I'm feeding my obsession down at Battersea Dogs and Cats Home. <laughs> I'm covered in dog stuff. <laughs> this week, I've got to warn you, there's going to be tears. Very sad. Oh, Cheryl, sip up a lip. But I'm also meeting a beautiful big girl. Honey! <laughs> and the dogs are taking me on a day trip. Come <laughs> down, Marcel, not on the table. <laughs> right, you lot, line up, please. We'll have a word with you. Come on, in. I'm going to work at Battersea. I want best behaviour. Your dinner's in the oven, OK? See you later. Today, I've been asked to take part in a Battersea outing. Paul is going to be holding Marcel. And I've got a feeling I'm getting stitched up. Hello, Marcel. <laughs> oh, don't start. <laughs> yeah, Have you got the arse today? Marcel's got the ump. Yep, definitely a stitch up. He sings this one. Don't you, and you jump on tables. Oh, yes, I've heard all about Marcel. He's a Battersea celebrity. Marcel. Where do we start with Marcel? Marcel's nickname is Stepcho because he's a cheeky old man. He's just one of those dogs that gives back to you and he's, he's amazing. Marcel really hates being in the kennels, so he spends most of his days in staff offices. He's just so funny and he's bright like my day, I love him. And there's just one more thing that you should know about Marcel. Marcel is Battersea's turbocharged dog. Yeah, he's powered by fart. He's farted on colleagues' laps, he's farted in meetings, he's farted in kitchens, he's farted on that desk there. So, um, yeah, he's, uh, he's legendary. Oh, Marcel, really? Good oh. lad, come on. I hope we're not going anywhere where you could embarrass me. Oh, dear. Across the river from Battersea is the Royal Hospital, home of Britain's war heroes, the Chelsea Pensioners. And here we come, ready to entertain the residents. There's a good boy. Here he is. Come on, fella. This way. When we go through the gates here, we really need to keep Marcel under control. OK. Listen, I can make a pig sit. This is going to be a doddle. Good morning. <laughs> sit down, Marcel. Sit, sit. Sit down, yeah. Marcel, sit down. I've got away with them, as you can see. Sit. <laughs> sit. Ooh, he's a ooh, stubborn old boy. Come on, Marcel. The Royal Hospital is a retirement home for pensioners with 12 years' service in the British forces. How are you, sir? Lovely to see you, sir. And you? Right. I like it. Does it? Being in the Boy Scouts counts. Marcel, we're moving in. <laughs> Battersea makes this trip once a month. Marcel, you've got an audience. Yeah, okay. you're going to be a good boy. Good morning, sir. How are you? Yeah, yeah. Lovely to meet you. That's happy. Lovely place. Yeah. The canine companionship's very therapeutic for the residents. That's not the dog that sits on your bench. No, it? not this one, no. <laughs> this is Marcel. She's a lovely girl. Oh, Marcel's making himself a home. 
Marcel, you're beautiful. Do you know what it is, Audrey? He's been there, seen it, done it. And I'm settling in nicely, too. I'll tell you what, he's been a good looking man. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, yeah. cheers. Do you hear that? I'll oh, come here oh, again. That's not on. You leave that on, you leave that on, what she said. Say a bit louder, Audrey, tell them. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> well, you got me all excited, I don't know where my bag is or my hat. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad, eh? But I've been in the building five minutes and I've pulled. Give him a cut. Give him a cut. Marcel's behaviour has been exemplary. I mean, just look at him, he's good as gold. <laughs> That's a good boy. No, Marcel, no, not on the table. <laughs> Marcel, now come down. Come Are you on. controlling him? Oh, yeah. <laughs> come down, Marcel, not on the table, please. And we were nearly there. Who put biscuits on the table? He's done me proud, Marcel, haven't you? You've been such a good boy. He only jumped on the table once, and wouldn't we all jump on a table for a place of jammy dodgers? So, Marcel the Staffy's won some more hearts today, but like all Battersea dogs, what he really needs is warm, loving home. Should we go for a walk? Come on, then. Right, be ready. One, two, three. Come on, good lad. Now, this way. <laughs> Nearly 40% of the dogs here are staffies, and they don't have a great reputation, which is a shame, because I've really met some lovely ones. So if you head down to Battersea on any day, you'll see a few cuddly staffies looking for a home. But it's not every day you'll see a dog like five-year-old Honey. This curvaceous lady is an Alaskan Malamute, and her owner had to give her up because she became ill and couldn't look after her. Yep, she's a big girl, and um, it's not just the fur. It's time for a weekly weigh-in with head vet Sean. And she should be around 35 kilos. No cheating. Well, come on, be honest. Do you like getting on the scales? There we go. Uh, she's just under 40 kilos, so she's going to tell you it's all fur, but to be honest, she's carrying a few pounds in excess of what she should be. So we'd like to get those, those pounds off her. Just like us, dogs put on weight because they're overfed or underactive. So Sean's put Honey on a healthy eating plan and canine welfare officer Susie's about to start a new training regime. Come on. Come. Come. I think she's looking for an escape route. There's something that might get her going and that's food. No, not even treats. They are diet treats. Honey, come. Well, I have to admire Susie's persistence. You know, it's very easy to overfeed a Malamute. Nature designed them to live in Arctic conditions on very little food. In Alaska, she'd be pulling sleds. <laughs> Absolutely exhausted. Still, it's only day one. Slow and steady, eh, honey? Oh, bless you. <laughs> Like Honey, many dogs arrive at Battersea with health problems. Right now, a very poorly stray puppy is being looked after in the clinic. Noodles, a toy poodle, is just three months old and she can't stand up. She's being cared for around the clock by vet nurse Cheryl. Hello. Hiya, Cheryl. Hi. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. And what's wrong with noodles? We're not sure at the moment. Yeah. She can't get around too well. She just scoots along. Her back legs don't look too healthy, do no, they? No, they're, they're, she does bunny hop off of them, but um, she just can't She can't coordinate herself. And are the front legs OK? She just won't support herself on the front legs. She's severely disabled. Yeah. It sometimes takes time for clinic to diagnose problems with stray dogs because they've got no medical history to go on. Was she just brought in or...? Um, she was dumped in the park. Oh, um, don't tell me this. <laughs> yeah. I can't stand it. Um, and someone, someone brought her in after finding it in the park. So she was unable to walk, just lying in the park? She must have just been yeah. lying there, yeah. Why didn't they just walk round, you know, and knock on the gates and say, look, I've got the sick dog, can you please help it? Instead of dumping it in a park. It's, it's just, I think, just think it's criminal. 
It's obvious that there's something seriously wrong with noodles, but what is it? They're running a whole series of tests, but it'll be a few days before they get the results. I have got doubt in my mind whether it is treatable. It looks quite bad, doesn't it? It is bad, and we don't know how far the disease has progressed, so it could be that she's left with quite a deal of brain damage. And, of course, that could be a very sad ending. No. Noodles, let's hope it's good results. <laughs> yeah, give us a kiss, then, before we go. Go on, yeah? Go on, there's a good girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, another one for me to worry about when I get home. <sighs> Here at Battersea, the goal is to help any dog in need. For some, the needs are very small. For others, they're quite a bit bigger. The last time we saw Honey the Malamute, she tipped the scales at an impressive 40 kilos. You are just like a big teddy bear. Two weeks later, she's lost two kilos, and she's got three more to go to reach her goal weight of 35. So, I'm going to help Susie try and get her moving. So, same as humans, overweight, she'll get, what, well, heart disease? Yeah, absolutely, and arthritis in her back legs, so her back legs... Diabetes. Yep, yeah, everything that we can get. Yeah, and, she'll get. Yeah, and of course it will shorten her life as well. Oh, so. we don't want that, honey, yeah. do we? We've got a lot of time to go, yeah, because she's too gorgeous for words. <laughs> <laughs> she's going for walks twice a day, but in here we can take her off lead and have a bit more fun. And now that she's grown to love her diet treats, I can use them as rewards to get around this course. See all this? We go all around this. No, sit. No, never mind the poor. OK, I love you too. Oh, I'd make a lousy personal trainer. Come on, honey. Come, Come on, on, honey. On. No. <laughs> she won't have it. You go over this way, like this. Good girl. Come on. Yeah. And this one. No, no, no. <laughs> Come on. No. <laughs> Whoa, look, 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 honey. Whoa. And then we go this way. No, this way. Honey. I'm a bit confused myself. I'm a man and dog. <laughs> honey, what's this? Honey. Can you see? She's coming. <laughs> no, you don't come there. You're supposed to go through the tunnel. If I give you this biscuit, will you go through the tunnel? Will you? If I give you that, no, not the paw. No, don't get around me. Right, that's it. We're going to get this dog running. Come and see. Honey, come on, come on, come no, on. No, honey, that's a trot and we need a canter. You can have half a one. Just one more. Come on, quick, come on, quick, quick, quick. Come on, get go. Oh, I think that's it. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a gallop. Is that the first time you've seen her run? That is the first time yeah. I've seen her run. This is a very proud moment it for us, indeed. honey. Very proud. <laughs> honey, do you want to run? <laughs> Come on, good there girl, is a girl. Honey, good girl. See, she can do it. I can do it. <laughs> Never mind it. I'm surprised. Well done, honey. You'll shave off those extra pounds in no time. Two weeks later, and Honey's just one and a half kilos off her goal weight of 35, although the fur is hiding a new spelt figure. Today, a couple have come in to see if she's the dog for them. Friendly baby, Honey's ever Look at that. And Honey wastes no time lapping up the attention from Shirley and Paul. Tickle tummies. <laughs> so, are they ready to take over the Honey weight loss plan? You're unbelievable. You really are. Mm -hmm. I think that's a yes. She's quite a lovable dog, isn't she? I just think she's absolutely wonderful. That's a magic number. It's time for Honey to hit the road. She's now living near Kingston in Surrey. What is it? Yeah. And thanks to Shirley and Paul, she's managed to keep off those extra pounds. She's so gentle, she's so loving. And we, we just love her so much. That's a magic number. I'll be honest now. Today, for the first time, I'm very reluctant to go to Battersea. I've heard the clinic have the results of the tests that they've done on disabled puppy noodles, and I've no idea what to expect. Hello? Hello. 
Can I come in? Vet nurse Cheryl's been That's looking true. after Noodles 24-7. Have you, have you been still been looking after her, taking her home and everything? Yeah, I've yeah. been taking her home. No, I'm doing what's best for her, really. Oh, she's having a drink. Comfy, yeah. Well, oh, um, she's shown any signs of improvement? Not really no. in her in her body movements. She's certainly improved character-wise. Um, she's come out of her shell, but yeah. with regards to her um, neurological problem, it looks like it's either staying the same or deteriorating, unfortunately. Oh, um, so what are you doing? Just keeping her comfortable and warm and yeah. giving her lots of love. What's her quality of life going to be like now she gets older? If she stays like this, she it won't be very good. It's not going to be good, is no. it? I can always, already see that she's getting a bit frustrated wanting yeah. to do things. Yeah. She'd be a really skin. lively puppy, wouldn't oh, she, yeah. if she was mobile? Yeah. Oh, look there, she's well bonded with you. <laughs> and me, her. <laughs> oh, Lord. Now, head bet Sean's here with Noodle's results. We've run some blood tests, basically, to rule out infectious causes that can give you symptoms a bit like this. There's another blood test just to rule out a, a, another strange liver condition. But I'm afraid what we're left is, is this degenerative disease of the cerebellum, you know, which is that part of the brain that deals with um, coordination and balance and, and muscle coordination, which you can, you can see is, is exactly what, um, what her problem is. But, um, we know there's no treatment for this condition. And I think, you know, you, you could argue, couldn't you, that she's not outwardly suffering, but... But, but when she her, gets older, yeah, what's, what's her it going to be like? Of yeah. You know, Cheryl... I mean, she's been lucky with Cheryl 24 hours, you know, she's not going to have that all her life, is yeah. she? Yeah. I think we're already seeing her getting frustrated. Yeah. And this is no future for no, her, is it? No, not at all. Not really? at all. No. So the inevitable's going to happen, so yeah? yeah? So we're going to, to, to put her to sleep. I OK. Think. Yeah. It's, this must be the saddest part of a vet's job. Yeah. It's got to be. Of course it is, yeah. But it's for the best, though. When my dog Buster, I was devoted to this dog, and I never... He had cancer. Yeah. And the vet said to me, you know what you've got to do. And it's the hardest decision you've got to make, but this is who we've got to think about. Yeah. Not us. And we're her owner. That's our responsibility. That's right, you know. yeah. No. And, that, and that's the last kindness we show her. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Oh, Cheryl, step up her lip. I don't think we'll stay for this, you know. No. No, I don't want to stay for that. And I don't think the viewers want to watch that either. It's very sad, but it's for the best. Well, that's the sad side to Battersea. I couldn't handle it if I didn't know that there were lots of dogs in here who will have a happy ending. But I tell you who I didn't expect to be meeting a potential owner today. And that's Marcel. No. Oh, I didn't give me another lick. Oh, oh my big glasses. John came into Battersea on the spur of the moment. He's decided he's ready for a new dog after his dog died three years ago. There you go. He definitely likes you. Yes. That's good. Look at you. Look at you. What have you got there? Look. Yuck. I mean, I wasn't initially looking for a staff, but when I met Marcel, I thought, well, he's a lovely old chap. So it's one old chap for another old chap, really, I suppose. Well, John and Marcel seem made for each other. There's just one problem. John's wife, Cathy, has to meet Marcel too. And Cathy doesn't like staffies. Next morning, there's a buzz around Battersea. <laughs> and that's what he does when he's happy. <laughs> if Cathy falls for Marcel, then the staff have to say goodbye to their celebrity dog. I'll go and see him on his way, but it will be very upsetting and I will cry. If the couple say no, then Marcel still doesn't have a home and he really doesn't cope with being in kennels. Hello. Hello. Oh, no, it's the moment of truth. Hi, Kathy. Hello there. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet this you. is Marcel. Marcel, He's a bit nervous, you've yeah. turned your back on me. Yeah. Yes. Oh, Marcel, Hello. don't show her that end. Come on. Hello. Hello. Oh. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Oh. oh, yes, you know the way to a lady's heart, don't you? <laughs> 
if Marcel can't convert Cathy to Staffers, nobody can. Oh, yay! Look at that. We're looking adorable. So, what's the verdict, Cathy? I think he's got a new home. As long as he can learn to speak Hackney, he'll be fine. Yay! Yeah, hey, that's wonderful news and quite an occasion. Attention all staff, Marcel's just about to go home, so come and say goodbye. He's been with us a long time and, um, as you can see, we don't do this very often for dogs that leave our, leave our home. Oh, I might shed a little tear. Oh, he's a lovely little boy. It'd be good to see him go, really good to see him go to a nice home. He's very, very, very loved and we're really proud and pleased that he's, he's going. Yeah, it's a good day here at Battersea today. <laughs> a few weeks later, Marcel has settled into his new digs in East London. That's it. Good boy. Come on. In you go. He's willing to please. And certainly does that. Pleases us, don't you? Hey? Hey! Yes! Good boy. So, even a grumpy, farting, table-jumping old dog can find a home. There's still hope for me then, isn't there? Huh?